nation. And he will say things like this, the Sheikh then continues. He says, Walahu min had al Kabil with Dalal a Shaykh in Kathir. He says, and for him, meaning Yusuf Qardawi, under this type of example and of this type of misguidance, he has many things that he said that we find for, from this man. And I will add as an addition, just an example. The man clearly states, and you can find it on YouTube, where he said, suicide bombing, it is the greatest and best form of jihad. And you got Muslims praising this man who died upon pushing these forms of misguidance. And then that's another example of what, from other than that, because saying that statement about if Allah was to display himself before the creation, he wouldn't get that type of response or find that type of, this is a statement of disbelief in kufr. And so Sheikh Abdul, Sheikh Abdul Aziz al Bari, he continues on, he says, if he had exposed himself to the creation, he wouldn't find these results. This, things like this and other forms of misguidance, you can find in, in abundance from Yusuf Qardawi. Like, for example, he says, Like, for example, him making dua of mercy, saying, Rahimahullah, to the Pope of the Jew, of the Christians when he died. May Allah, may Allah have mercy. He said, making statements that we don't even understand. We don't know what his case is. He will say, we ask Allah to show forgiveness upon him, to have mercy upon him. And where, Aina Yurid, where does he want Allah to place this man? Where does he want Allah to place this man? And asking for mercy for this man. There's no place to be put either, once one dies, is either paradise or either the hellfire. Either paradise is for the one with whom mercy has been shown for. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made Jannah, and he says in the Quran, haram for the Jews and the Christians. So, the Sheikh then asked, So does there remain a third place for Allah to place the Christians and Jews when Allah says, the Jannah is haram for them? You asking him for have mercy. You ain't, you ain't asking him to have mercy in, in the hellfire. He's not going to be placed in Jannah. So there must remain a third place that Allah is going to place him, the Sheikh asked. He says after that, the misguidance of Yusuf Qardawi has been recorded. There is a conglomeration of his many misguided statements and many of his things he said that is astray. What is important, he says, Ya talabat al-ilm, O students of knowledge, is that you busy yourselves with your own selves, with that which will benefit you, and leave off this particular man and his situation. Leave him off and his affair. For man na'lamu lahu tawbah, because we don't know for him to have died and made repentance from all his mis repentance from all of his misguidance in which he which has been spread about him from his own speech and his own writings. That which he called to the following of himself. And there's no one has come to mend that and said, saying that he corrected it. He says, for example, some of the crazy statements that has come from the likes of Yusuf Qaradawi is he said about himself, I used to, I was praying in with the, the Juma'ah or in, I was praying the Juma'ah in a cinema. Duh. He said, while I was still trying to follow watching a movie, and while and I couldn't help but feel sadness and pain for the fact how the movies today now are different and not on the same level of the movies that used to come out before. He would say crazy statements like this. And y'all want to send mercy? You want to make dua for a person who was diametrically has said and done things that's against the deen of Islam and people praising this man. And this is one of the problems. And so the sheikh says after that, these are from the things that if you was to hear that has come from his mouth, you would laugh at it. From it, you will be, from those things he have said, you will be astonished by it. From those things that he said, you will be shocked and find it so strange that someone will be bold enough to make statements like that. From those statements in, of misguidance and which has become transparent and obvious and well known from him over the many years of his lifespan, for it, therefore, it is, he says, under any case, busy yourselves 
Do not busy yourselves with him. What in kunta turidu and tataraham, he said, if you really want to make dua of mercy for anybody, make dua of mercy for Imam Bukhari. Make dua of mercy for Imam Muslim, of the author of Sahih Muslim. Make dua of mercy for, Al, for, for Ibn Baz, for Sheikh Uthaymeen, for Sheikh Luhaydan, for Sheikh Muqbal, for Sheikh Al Albani. Make dua of mercy upon the ulama of Islam. And do not busy yourself with the likes of Qaradawi. Forget that man. Let be your concern to warn against his misguidance in which he has led many people astray from his misguidance. May Allah, the Sheikh ends his fatwa says, وَفَقَنَ اللَّهُ وَإِيَّكُمْ لِمَا يُحِبُّ وَيَرْضَى May Allah grant you success, grant us success in you for that which he loves and is pleased with. وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all that which exists. فَضِيلَ الشيخ الْعَلَامَ عَبْدُ الْعَزِيزِ بِنْ يَحْيَى الْبَرْعِ حَفِيظُهُ اللَّهُ وَرَعَاهُ uh, and this was a fatwa he did on the first of Rabi'i al-Awl, the year 1444, 1444. I just wanted to add one last thing to what is being said or what the sheikh has mentioned here in the statements of making dua for the likes of those great scholars. That we should busy our, and busy in ourselves with exposing his misguidance. Because I'm a witness to many of the people going astray because his misguidance. I was. I want to say this one story, and I'm going to close with this. I know of a story of a Muslim sister, who her father, a man, excuse me, used to pick this non-Muslim man used to pick this girl up from this Muslim school every day, and so one of the teachers at the school would notice that a non-Muslim keep picking up this Muslim girl every day. So when the opportunity presented itself for the mother to be approached, and this is from here in America. When the opportunity presented itself for the mother to be approached, when she one day came to the school, one of the sisters asked her, well, who is this non-Muslim man that's picking up this Muslim girl? Of course, all the Muslims want to be concerned about that because these were Arabs. This was not a, a American Muslim who may have non-Muslim uncles and like, just all Arabs. And um, this non-Muslim man is picking them up. Picking her up. So they, when she spoke to the mother, why, who was this man? She said, that's her father. And I'm married to him. And the sister was shocked. And she asked her, you married to this man? And did she begin to show the IS where Allah prohibit Muslim women from marrying non-Muslim men? And she said, I don't care what you give me of what Allah said or what the prophet said. The sheikh the great scholar Yusuf Al-Qaradawi gave me a verdict that is permissible for me to marry this non-Muslim man. And I'm going to live with that and meet a law on that. These are the type of things this man has done that we want to make dua for this type of individual. What Islam is he defending? What Islam he promoted? I mean, I, I can have a full ongoing story of the misguidance of this man. And so I just wanted to share that since so many Muslims in the masajids and imams is getting on making dua for this man and speaking highly of this man when he did not represent the book of Allah and the sunnah of his messenger. He spoke against it, made many things that's halal, haram. I mean, many things that's haram, permissible, like I just said in the example. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who love the truth more than we love individuals and never place no one above the book of Allah and the sunnah of his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barik ala nabiyyina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in assalamu alaykum